Pavement sections like this carry more than 80,000 vehicles per day. In these heavy traffic areas, concrete repairs present a challenge for highway engineers and contractors. Fortunately, concrete highways like this don't wear out all at the same time. Repairs can be made only to the worn-out sections. To minimize traffic disruptions, repair projects are limited to 8-hour nighttime lane closures. Pavement can be repaired and maintained for the long term using these short closures. Often, in a stretch of highway, there are a few worn out sections which need to be replaced, and many unbroken sections which will continue to carry traffic for many years. Let's take a look at a highway project in Los Angeles. Inspection identifies the broken panels to be replaced. These panels are cleanly removed by saw cutting into manageable sections. And lifting the sections out with a loader. This technique is fast and damage to adjacent concrete and subbase is minimal. After panel removal, the subgrade is inspected and, if necessary, replaced. Rapid setting concrete is used to replace any bad subgrade. A plastic sheeting bond breaker is installed over the subgrade. Around the perimeter of the repair, a flexible foam joint material is installed. For some projects, load transfer dowels are installed. Near the job site, at a construction staging yard, the volumetric mixer trucks are loaded with ingredients for concrete production. Rapid set concrete is prepared at the job site using a mobile mixer. These machines operate like a portable batch plant in that each component, cement, sand, stone, additives, and water is in its individual compartment on board the truck. The sand, stone, and cement are conveyed by a belt, while the additives and water are pumped through the rear of the truck where all components are properly mixed and discharged. The mobile mixer produces fresh concrete at the job site exactly where the contractor needs it. As the concrete is produced, the job site operations are efficiently completed. Skilled operators of the volumetric mixer trucks play the role of batchman, chute man, and driver all at the same time. In some locations, two trucks can produce concrete simultaneously to speed production. The concrete crew works with the screed operator to place and finish the rapid setting concrete. A simple tine finish and curing compound completes the operation. The new joints in the concrete can be saw cut about one hour after placement. Each night, concrete is sampled and tested using a concrete lab located on the job site. Standard concrete tests are performed on this project. Caltrans specifies flexural strength of 2.8 megapascals for opening the pavement to traffic. 
That equates to cylinder compressive strength of about 3,500 PSI. For 7 days flexural strength, Caltrans specifies 4.2 MPA or 4,500 PSI cylinder strength. Contractors may request payment from the state for completed work when the concrete reaches the specified 7 day strength. On many projects, the 7 day strength is achieved 5 hours after placement. The concrete mix design typically includes about 6 and 1 half to 7 sacks of rapid set cement mixed with aggregates and water. Common admixtures like super plasticizer and retarder may be used in the mixture. The result is a durable concrete that achieves 3500 PSI in one hour. The speed of this concrete allows the contractor to maximize his production each night within the tight schedule. Over 390 cubic yards have been placed in an eight hour night closure. Tests indicate the rapid set cement concrete has double the life expectancy of traditional concrete and 10 times that of asphalt alternatives. When the concrete has reached the flexural strength of 2.8 MPA, the pavement may be open to traffic. For late opening, a penalty of $1,000 per minute may be assessed by Caltrans. Tough penalties like this demonstrate the value California places on the use of its highway system. In the early morning hours, the new pavement takes its first loading of vehicle traffic. The drivers and passengers of the vehicles are unaware of the pavement repairs performed a few hours earlier. With careful planning, engineering, and construction, Caltrans has developed a successful program to keep California highways in first-class condition with minimal cost and traffic delays. Since 1994, over 500 lane miles and more than 1 million cubic yards of rapid set cement concrete have been placed on highways and airports worldwide. Please visit www.ctscement.com for company and product information. For technical support, call 800-929-3030.